Hello everybody and welcome to another video and today we're going to be looking once again at Lord of the Lost however this one is slightly different they recently released a track um, which is Lord of the Lost featuring Swiss and Diandern which I believe means Swiss and the others um, it's a sort of collaboration track called Schwarz Todd Gold um, meaning Black Dead Gold, and it's a play on uh, Schwarz Rotgold, which is Black Red Gold, which of course is the German flag. Um, now obviously I've covered Lord of the Lost several times before, so don't really need to go into much there, but uh, Swiss and Diandern, um, I had to have a look up at, and there wasn't really a huge amount of information about them. Uh, but I did find that they are a German punk rock band with hip-hop influences, and they are from Hamburg, Germany. Um, the formation consists of the frontman, Swiss, as well as bassist Matze Grimm, um, guitarist Jacob Schultz, and drummer Tobias Gerth, and the DJ Da Wizard. Uh, the style of the group is strongly influenced by political Issues and with the song being called uh, Schwarz Tot Gold, you know, Black Dead Gold, you know, sort of maybe hints at something there. And it could also be a play on another track that they released uh, in 2014. They released an EP called Schwarz Rot Braun, which is Black Red Brown. So this could be a variation on that track, I'm not entirely sure. But anyway, I love Lord of the Lost, I've loved everything I've heard of them so far. I think. Um, the singer, his name escapes me at this moment, I think he's got a fantastic voice. Um, not sure what to expect from uh, Swiss and Die Andern. Um, I mean, they are a, poc, uh, a punk rock band with hip hop influences, so this could be interesting. So um, we'll jump into it and see what we've got. I have some lyrics here, uh, I have a translation, but I don't know how good the translation will be. I'm not sure how accurate it's going to be. Um, since I'm, I believe they're probably fan submitted. Uh, so when I read through the lyrics, there may be some errors. I've had a quick read through. Some of the lines don't make perfect sense, but I see what they're supposed to mean. So we've got that. Anyway, we'll jump to the track and um, see what we get. So, Schwarz Tot Gold by Lord of the Lost and Swiss und Die Andern. Ich hol mir mein Hack, das bedeutet, gib die Hetze von der Kohle, die du machst, ja. Yeah. Alte 
weiße Männer in der Chefetage Alle meine Gangster fahren S-Klasse Moral in meiner Welt nur eine Geldfrage Alles gut, solange ich alles für mich selbst habe yeah. Schwarz, Rot, Gold sind meine Farben Ich bin ein Kaiser unter Krähen oh, oh. Brot und Spiele für die Armen Und schon schwenkt ihr meine Fahnen Nicht zu danken, gern geschehen Schwarz und Gold Schwarz und Gold Gold sind meine Farben Irgendwann auf meinem Grab Eure Wunden, eure Narben Euer Blut für schwarze Zahlen Und goldene Nägel für mein Saar Schwarz und Gold There we go. Schrott Tot Gold by Lord of the Lost and Swiss und Die Andern. And it's a really good track, really catchy. And of course, you know, uh, Chris Harms, that's his name. I couldn't remember it before. You know, he, he still brings that magnificent voice to the track. Um, obviously, a lot of hip hop influence with the vocals from Swiss and Die Andern. Um, with a lot of sort of heavy and really lovely sounding bass um, behind it. So, you know, I actually quite like that. Now, as might have been made obvious by the um, final images of that video, the song seems to be about political corruption, you know, how corrupt politicians are and governments are around the world. So we'll have a quick look at the lyrics. Like I said, these might not be 100% accurate, some of the lines when read don't really make sense but I see what they're going for so like I said I'm not sure how accurate these are but we'll have a look anyway because it, it sort of gives you the general gist as to what the song is and what I have it says I am making money sell the weapons to the criminals of this world so I'm guessing that's you know we make money by selling weapons to the criminals of this world and then of course we send in our armies to take them back off and saying oh my god they're a threat because they've got weapons despite the fact that you just sold them to them I wonder where we've heard that before anyway um, celebration with bankers at Oktoberfest in the tent a promise to the poor is not a promise to keep so save yourself when a when a leftover food falls off then I act like a humanist but I'll let you drown because I don't give a f who you are so, celebration with the bankers at Oktoberfest in the tent, a promise to the poor is not a promise to keep, which is a very common thing with governments at the moment. You know, they'll, they'll make all these promises to the uh, people who are struggling with money, yet all they're really interested in is making money for themselves. They want to make them and their friends richer whilst making the poor people poorer. Um, it's a very common theme at this moment, and, you know, we still keep bloody voting these idiots in who say that they're going to help the less fortunate and they don't and the ones that actually seem genuinely to want to help the less fortunate are the ones that everybody says are like communists horrible evil people and you know they've got their views completely skewed anyway uh when a leftover food food falls off then i act like a humanist so i'm guessing that means when th when their food runs out they suddenly act like they care about the world sort of like you know oh you know 
people are running short of food, we'll do what we can to help them, whereas in reality they're just like, they say, but I'll let you down because I don't give a f who you are. You know, so it's like, we'll make it seem like we want to help these less fortunate people, but in reality we're just wanting to help ourselves. Um, me above everything, therefore everything just for me. So stay with you up. So stay where you are. First, I'll f your area. I'm sure that means I'll first I'll f your ass or something like that. Um, then I'll send a few peace doves over there. I've been blind in my right eye since an accident a few years ago. You better not trust my white vest. It's an illusion, like equality between women. So again me above everything therefore everything just for me again it's greed you know i'm more important than you so everything must be for me you know everything must cater to my needs i don't care what you need i don't care how impoverished you are how much you're struggling you know i only care about myself you know like pretty much every government in the bloody world um then it says i'll f i'll f your area then i'll send you a few piece stuff now that could mean i'll you in the arse, you know, I'll just bend you over and screw you, or it could mean I'll destroy your country and then send over peace doves to make it look like I'm actually the good person here, you know, I'll, I'll ruin your country and then I'll send aid over to make it look like I'm actually the nice person and everybody else is cruel um, so there yeah, um, and it's, you better not trust my white vest it's an illusion like equality between women, you know you're, you're sitting there believing in me you're believing all my lies but you know you, you can't trust a single thing I say like everybody says um, we, you know there's this whole thing with women's pay at the moment you know women getting paid less than men you know Th there isn't equality even though people claim there is um, then it goes black old white men dead in the boardroom all of my gangsters drive S class gold uh, morality in my world is just a question of money as good all good as long as I have everything to myself so all of my gangsters drive s-class gold so they're like driving these really expensive you know s-class Mercedes I'm guessing they're referring to you know possibly gold plated cars you know they're saying you know, we're, we're driving around in all these really posh brilliant high-end cars and says morality morality in my world is just a question of money you know, so depending on how much, who pays me the most depends on who I'll side with, depends on who I'll say has the best ideas, who is telling the truth sort of thing. And it says all is good as long as I have everything to myself. So it doesn't matter how questionable these things are that I'm supporting. I don't care so long as I'm well off, I'm better off for it. So, you know, it's pretty typical of governments these days. Then it goes into the Lord of the Lost sort of section where he goes, Black dead gold are my colours. You lead the cold hand of power. I roll over corpses on chains. My country only saves the rich. I am the last one to laugh. Then it repeats black dead gold over and over again. So, you know, you, you lead the cold hand of power. I roll, of roll over corpses on chains. I'm not sure that is what the line's supposed to say, but... You know, my country only saves the rich. I'm the last to laugh, which is exactly what I was saying before. You know, these uh, people in government, they only want to make themselves richer. They want to make themselves and their friends richer. You know, these people that have got like three holiday homes, have like 15 cars and get paid like several million pounds to sit in government halls listening to policies where in fact they're just sitting there falling asleep not listening or agreeing on anything not actually doing anything and they're getting paid millions to do absolutely nothing and they're like you know i'm the last to laugh because i'm i'm you know i'm comfortable i'm well off i'm rich and you people are suffering and i don't care um and it goes back into the next verse. Uh, I'll buy your land, get applause from the banks. My G's are industry like car manufacturers. You need these acquaintances because you know yourself. One hand washes the other and both of them wash the money together. With a poker face and taciturn, I cover my net like a goalkeeper. I manage the traffic and, and my brother on the right has the right of way. You son of a... Don't pretend, don't pretend do-gooders. This line is very confused. It says, You son of a don't pretend do-gooders. I let immigrants slave for a starvation wage. Now, I'm sure that's supposed to, you know, you son of a don't pretend to be do-gooders. I let 
immigrants work here, but I pay them minimum I could possibly pay them, you know, starvation wage, you know. Yeah, you're pretending to do good, whereas I'm letting immigrants work here, even though I'm making them work for the most minimal amount of money I can possibly get away with. Uh, family tradition, the others have no talent. I want to see the globe wrapped in the colours of my gang. Open the crown and I'll get my hook, and that means give half of the money you make. Um, so there's a couple of confused lines in there, like I said, that, that this is probably a fan submission translation, um, so it's bound to be not entirely accurate. But you know, I buy your land, get applause from the banks. My G's are industry like car manufacturers. You know, I'll buy your land and get applause. You know, I'll take over your land, and I'll, somehow I'll be made as, out as a great person, despite the fact I'm ruining your country. You know, I'm taking away what's rightfully yours and keeping it for myself. And everybody's like, "Yeah, you're so great," but in essence, you're destroying this uh, country. Um, I manage the traffic and my brother on the right has the right of way. So it's like I say what goes and all the people on the right wing are, you know, they're right, they're correct, they have their say, they're the more important people. You know, that, that's the opinion of them. You know, they don't care what anybody else has to say. It's only them and their people that are correct, no matter how wrong they really are. Um... You know, I want to see the globe wrapped in the colours of my gang. So, in other words, I want to rule the world. You know, I want to be the most powerful person on the planet. I want to have a say about what happens everywhere. You know. And then it goes back to... Um, black, old, white men in the boardroom. All of my gangsters drive S-class gold. Morality in my world is just a question of money. All is good as long as I have everything to myself. And then it goes back into the... Lord of the Lost Party goes, Black Dead Gold are my colours. I am an emperor among crows. Bread and games for the poor, and already you wave my flags. Nothing to thank, you're welcome. And, you know, I actually quite like that part, because it says, Black Dead Gold are my colours. I am an emperor among crows. Um, bread and games for the poor, you already, and already you wave my flag. So, you know, y these people are, that we're treating like shite, you know, the, the government are treating these people like absolute crap, yet some of these weird, twisted people somehow think that the government are actually doing good for them. Whereas, in fact, the government are just going, <laughs> you f***ing idiots, you know, we're, we're taking you for the ride of your life, we're getting richer, you're getting poorer, we don't give a shit about you so long as we get paid. And this, they're like, you know, you already rave our flags. No, nothing to thank me for. You're welcome. You know, you're welcome for us taking your money. You know, you're paying tax so I can go to the Galapagos. You know. <laughs> and then it goes back into that black dead gold repeated over and over again. Then there comes that really sort of slow tempo bit uh, with uh, Chris Harms from um, Lord of the Lost saying, Black dead gold are my colours. Someday on my grave... Your wounds, your scars, your blood for the black, and the gold nails for my coffin. Um, I'm not entirely sure what that means. It's like maybe someday, um, you know, I'll get my comeuppance, you know, or, you know, I'll still be buried in grandeur, you know, I'll, I'll be buried in a coffin riveted with gold nails, and it'll be your blood all over the coffin, because you're the people who have had you know, I've I've had to sacrifice you to put myself there, maybe. I'm not sure about that last bit, but I like the way it sounds. And then it closes out with Black Dead Gold repeated over and over again. <clears throat> so it's a very, very politically motivated piece of music, you know. As, and as it said um, when I was reading the description for Swiss und Die Andone, you know, their music is very politically motivated. Uh, so that's very, very obvious there. So, you know, they're clearly talking about the corruption of governments around the world and of course that amazing um, symbology at the end of a certain someone who I've mentioned once before in videos and got a lot of hate for um, but you know people can't deny you know the actual truth of what's happening um, although they will try their damnedest to and they will cuss you out to the end of the world just to prove that they're right even though they are clearly wrong but um, you know it was a great piece of music. It sounded fantastic. Now, that bass guitar in the background was really deep, really thick, really filthy and delicious. You know, and, you know, I, I really enjoyed that whole track. I thought it was very, very good. And I like 
you know that sort of whole hip hop rapping sort of thing mixed into it. I think it worked quite well. Um, so I quite like that track, yes. But um, I can't really think of much else to say about that, so uh, I think I'll leave that track as it is. Now, if anybody would like to suggest a track for me to react to, then please do so by all means. You can drop a comment in the comment section below, or message me on my Facebook or my Instagram, or you can even message me through my Patreon, where you could also help to support this channel, which would be a great help to me. Um, there is an option in Patreon where you can get your suggestion jump to the front of the queue, should you so desire. Um, there's a couple of limitations that go along with that, just to be fair to other people who suggest tracks through regular means, but there is that option there. Um, if you do suggest your track through regular means, such as through Facebook, YouTube or Instagram comments, uh, do know it might take me a while to get around to it since I do get suggested so many tracks every single day um, that I can't really keep up. But I do write down every suggestion I get, so you know I'll get around to it eventually, it just might take me a while to get to it. Also, Metalhead Reacts is a proud supporter of the Sophie Lancaster Foundation, a British-based charity whose main goal is to put an end to hate crimes, mainly those involving people of the alternative culture. Now, you know, they pretty much want to wipe out hate crimes as a whole, but their main focus is uh, people of the alternative culture because it's something that goes on and on and on and has been going on for decades. You know, it's been going on for bloody ages, but nothing gets said, nothing gets done, and that's something that needs to change. You know, because <clears throat> every day we hear about these copious different types of hate crimes, you know, sexism, racism, homophobia, transphobia, religious hatred, etc. We hear about these every day, from the most heinous and violent of these crimes, where someone is murdered because of the colour of their skin, or because of their religion, or because of their sexual identity or preference, down to the most pathetic of these crimes, where some entitled white woman is calling the police on a family of colour because they're having a picnic in a public space. You know, we hear every facet of these on a daily basis in all walks of media. But we never hear anything about these people from the alternative culture who are getting violently attacked, brutally attacked, just purely because of their taste in music and clothes that they wear. You know, and we're not talking about, you know, getting names shouted at them from across the road. We're not talking about getting shoulder rammed as they walk down the street. We're talking about real violent crimes where people are getting hospitalised, sometimes with broken bones, sometimes with more life-threatening injuries. And this goes on all the time, on practically a daily basis. But nothing ever gets said about it. The last time there was any widespread coverage of this sort of thing happening was 13 years ago, when Sophie Lancaster and her boyfriend Rob Maltby were violently attacked by a group of five or six people. It's always a group of people. It's never one-on-one. -on -one. It's always a group. You know, they were set upon by this group of five or six people, and they were beaten, punched, kicked and had their heads stamped on so violently that they both ended up in comas. Now Rob Maltby, he did thankfully survive. He was in a coma for maybe a week, a bit longer, I can't remember exactly how long. But Sophie Lancaster was in a coma for 13 days before she succumbed to her injuries and died. This young woman was 20 years old, was beaten to death by a group of people just because she listened to alternative music, just because she wore alternative fashion. You know, like I said, this happened 13 years ago, and we've not heard a single thing similar since, but I know for a fact that several dozen, possibly even hundreds of these attacks have taken place, and we've not heard a single thing about it because no one has died, and that is unacceptable. You know, we shouldn't have to wait for someone to die before something gets done about this. We shouldn't have to wait for someone's death before we start talking about this. You know, uh, I think a year or two ago, a young woman in Glasgow in Scotland was running a charity event. And during the charity event, she had to go back to her apartment, which was about a five minute walk away from the venue. She had to go back to her apartment change her boots, I think it was, because one of them broke or something like that, I can't remember exactly, and then go back to the venue. And in that five minute walk, she was attacked twice by the same group of people who punched her, kicked her, beat her to the ground, you know, etc. And the only reason 
they stopped was because a passing taxi driver put a stop to it. And even then, once that had happened, he drove off. He didn't check to see how the girl was. But this girl, in, in the five minutes between the venue and her home, she was attacked twice by the same group of people just for her taste in music and just for the style of her clothes. Where was that in the news? Why didn't we hear anything about this? It's unacceptable that this just gets ignored. By not saying anything about it, by not doing anything about it, we're essentially letting these people get away with it. And we just can't have that. We can't allow someone else to lose their life over something as petty as music. You know, what happened to Sophie Lancaster must never, ever be allowed to happen ever again. It should never have happened in the first place. And this is what the Sophie Lancaster Foundation is all about. They want to bring more awareness to the fact that this is happening. They want to get more people talking about it so we can get something done to stop this from ever happening again. And I, I think it's very, very important because it's something I've been through myself. I've been beaten black and blue. I can't count how many times just because of my taste in music and the way I dress. My older brother was beaten quite severely with a baseball bat just because of his taste in music and the way he dressed. My sister, who doesn't, who isn't even a metalhead, has been verbally abused, pushed and shoved around because they thought that she was a metalhead. And she's not. You know, this sort of thing needs to stop. We cannot allow it to go on any longer. So if you'd like to find out more about the Sophie Lancaster Foundation, there is a link to their website in the description below. You can go over there, find out what they're working on at the moment, find out what their main goal is, because they can explain it a lot better than I can. Um, and if you can help them out in any small way, obviously don't feel obligated to do so, but if you can help them out in any small way, whether it's something like a small donation through their website or something as simple as one of these Sophie wristbands or maybe even this one if you so fancy it, you know, if you get those from their web store, you know, the smallest amount can make the biggest difference. And the sooner we get more people talking about this, the sooner we bring more recognition to the fact that it is happening, the sooner we can help to stamp out prejudice, hatred and intolerance everywhere. But I'm going to leave that as it is for the time being. Thank you all very, very much for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye. Alte weiße Männer in der Chefetage Alle meine Gangster fahren S-Klasse Moral in meiner Welt nur eine Geldfrage Alles gut, solange ich alles für mich selbst